So when incident like this happens, it's obvious that you need to go to the hospital so that you can get some form of counseling, whether you are hurt or not. But in this case, Lana says she is okay. The only problem is only her hands that are painful, so she does not need any sort of counseling or going to the doctor to see anything. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can already see, we are going to be reviewing Seven Dilan, San Bonani Abusheni Molweni Minjani, Hifukile Hingongwina. So in today's episode of Seven Dilan, we then discovered that um, Easter is awake, but the problem is she's not responding to anything because her brain has shut down so they say this is because of the oxygen that was not supplied so well so she has to undergo the operations and obviously none of them is taking it very lightly because now they feel like she's dead but then the doctor just explained that she is not responding because there's a part of her brain that is shut down Okay, let us move right along. So Justin decided to visit his father and yeah, it was very awkward and it got everyone talking now. There's, there's also a question of DNA if um, he is really, really, really the son because now he came with the grandson and Papa was so excited that I am a grandpa. Hmm, interesting. So now, um, let us move right along. So when it comes to Esther, it was suggested that she has to go to Pulukwane to seek a care unit so that it can be the best for her because where she is right now, she is not going to get the proper treatment and to make sure that she heals and recover. And six months was suggested and which is uh, a bit too long for my liking. Imagine six months when someone is not responding. So only after six months, they can now be able to tell whether she will recover or not recover. What happens during the six-month period? Okay, let us move right along. So Esther's son is not really taking this very lightly. Um, did he... Okay, can I ask something? Did he... Did he run away with his mother or what happened? Well, I do understand that afterwards she, he was talking to his mother that he does not want to let go of her. He's going to quit his studies just to make sure that she is in good health. How is he going to do that if he leaves school? Oh, well, anyway, let us move right along. So um, <laughs> when the DNA was suggested to uh, Justin's father, he was furious and did not want to believe. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for viewing my video. I'll see you on my next upload. And remember, Jesus loves you always.